Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you want to schedule yourself an appointment in Outlook, just open the calendar folder and then click either the new appointment button in the new group on the home tab in the ribbon if using Outlook 2010 or click the new button in the standard toolbar if using Outlook 2007. The appointment window will appear. You can set the appointment in this window. Start by typing a description of the appointment into the subject text box. Then enter the location of the appointment into the location text box if needed. To set a start time and an end time for the appointment, click the first drop down arrow to the right of start time and select a date from the displayed calendar. Then click the drop down arrow to the right at the date and select a time for the appointment to begin. Repeat this same process to set the end time for the appointment as well. Next you can click the appointment tab in the ribbon if needed to view the buttons in the options group on this tab. Click the drop down arrow to the right of the reminder label to select the number of minutes prior to the appointment that you want Outlook to send a reminder to you. If you don't want a reminder, select the none choice. To specify how you would like the appointment time to appear to others who may want to invite you to a meeting when using the scheduling features of Outlook, click the drop down arrow to the right of the show as text box and select the appropriate option from the list. If using Outlook 2010, the next buttons appear in the Tags group. In Outlook 2007, they are listed in the Options group. You can click the Categorize button to select a category for the appointment. If you have someone who acts as a delegate for your email account, and you have given them access to your calendar, but you do not wish for them to view this particular appointment, then click the Private button to hide it from your delegates. Next, enter any additional notes to yourself in the large text box at the bottom of this dialog box. When you're finished, click the Save and Close button in the Appointment Windows ribbon to save the appointment and place it into your calendar when you are finished creating the appointment item. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.